My name is Austin Engelhart. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the five things that I learned from Ryan Reynolds about marketing. Because I always see his videos about Aviation Gin or with Mint Mobile, and I was wondering how are these working so well? Of course he's Ryan Reynolds, I understand that, but I figured there has to be some tactics that they're using to make these work so well. So I studied all of the videos, and here are my takeaways. The first takeaway is that the high production ads don't necessarily mean they're going to work. No matter how much you spend on an ad, whether it's 5,000, 10,000, usually the high production ads are just go right over the audience because they don't think they're authentic, they don't find them genuine, and usually if something is filmed on an iPhone or very low budget, the consumer wants to see that and they want, to, and it looks like it's coming from a friend, it looks more organic, natural, and it blends into the newsfeed. So I learned that high production ads don't necessarily mean they will convert better. You can spend as much as you want on an ad, but if you film on an iPhone, you focus on the story, the talent, and the offer, it will perform much better than having a bunch of extras, tons of camera equipment, and just getting a set for the day because the audience is tired of seeing Super Bowl commercials on their newsfeed. The second thing that I learned from Ryan Reynolds is that he always adds humor into all of his scripts. No matter what he says, he always understands pop culture and trending topics, and he can always add these in to what he's talking about to resonate with the consumer. And everyone can understand this. One crazy example that he did was when that Peloton commercial came out and the husband gifted the wife a Peloton bike. A Peloton? Which everyone thought was offensive, right? It got tons of media coverage. Ryan Reynolds then found that actress. Yeah casted her for an aviation gin commercial and then made an ad with her discussing why she should have a drink instead of a Peloton bike, whatever the message was. He had a two day turnaround between finding her, filming it, and then putting it out. And he just moves extremely fast, understands trending topics, realizes what everybody is talking about, and then how can I take this and then apply it to you know the product that he owns basically. Put them together, make a script, and then add some humor, and it works perfectly for him. And then number three is that he moves extremely fast. Similar to how he understood that he needed to get the Peloton act he did the same thing with Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon was in the news for having eight kids. I think he's had 11 kids now or something ridiculous. Regardless, he casted Nick Cannon once that news broke that he was having his eighth child, had him on an ad for Aviation Gin, and they made a drink called the Vasectomy. That was just extremely funny. Everyone was talking about how many kids Nick Cannon was having. It was all over the media. So this was just another thing that the media could pick up, gets organic reach, gets the organic views on YouTube, and it could also be run as an ad. And it was just a perfect combination of story, humor, and now he's moving extremely fast by understanding what's going on in the media. The fourth thing that he does extremely well is that he is so relatable, even though he's Ryan Reynolds and he's a superstar. Wow, wow. Everyone seems to be able to relate to him. He's a family man, he understands humor, even on his talk shows, he, he's making everybody laugh. He's discussing his children, his wife that everyone you know, you know, loves, and he just incorporates all of this humor into his ads and his products. For example, he bought the Wrexham team and made a show about it called Welcome to Wrexham. They explain exactly you know, what they went through to go through A to Z of buying this team, making it such a trending topic and getting such a huge audience to now watch this show and then make it into a specific league. I don't know the exact terms. Even though he does all of this, he finds some specific ways to make it so relatable to the audience. It seems like every guy wants to be him, and then we all enjoy the ads, the content that he puts out, because everyone can understand where he's coming from. The fifth thing that I learned from Ryan Reynolds, and I think this might be the most important thing, is that story matters so much. He's not just asking for a sale. He's not just saying, Mint Mobile's having $20, it's, Mint Mobile's $20 a month, buy now, we'll give you a month free. He's never saying just the direct sale or just the direct offer. He's giving you a reason of why you should understand the offer that's happening. An example of this is when he just did a recent ad for Mint Mobile, he talks about how everything is going up with inflation. So he says he asked the legal team of Mint Mobile, should we raise the prices? Do we have to raise our prices? And they were like, no, we don't have to. So he said, okay, let's just cut our prices. We can? So we cut the Mint Mobile prices to about $10 a month or something because he, you know, it's, it's funny. It's a great thing to talk about. Everyone's talking about inflation and what's going on right now. And he really understood the market and Mint Mobile market, of course, no one wants to pay more for anything. So just give them another reason to understand your offer and to switch to Mint Mobile. It was an amazing offer. It was an amazing story behind it because everyone can relate to this. Everyone's going through the same thing. And it really just connected and resonated with all of the consumers that would hopefully turn to Mint Mobile. I think the story also behind Aviation Gin, you know, works so well because he just really enjoyed this liquor and he explained that. He explained it wasn't his. He went into the company, he invested, and then he just grew it with his, you know, all of these points that I'm, that I'm speaking about. He grew it with all of these tactics and it worked so well and he sold it for a great amount of money. So I think these five tactics that Ryan Reynolds does so well can be applied to any ad in any business 
and it can definitely help your business scale from zero to millions. Just try to add you know, a line of humor that everybody can relate to. It's, it might be difficult to write that, but just try, you know? I, in one of my ads specifically, we understood that Riz, the word Riz, was such a popular trending topic, a trending word, so we started to use that in our headlines and it worked very well. We were selling t-shirts at the time. We used it in the headline. We had the talent say Riz as well, or the, or the woman said it because she loved how the man looked in the t-shirt, and that worked well as well. So I think there's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of trending topics that you can latch onto, to include in your ads, to include in your copy. That should definitely scale your business and help just perform overall. So I hope you enjoyed this. These are the five things I learned from Ryan Reynolds, and I hope you find some takeaway. Thank you. And also, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much, and um, I'll try to keep making great videos. Hopefully this is great.